هيا يا رفيق الدرب هيا نسلك النهج السوي في سبيل الله نمضي نقتفي فيه النبي نبعث الحب اريجا فائح العطر شديا نملا الافاق نورا وبهاء سرمديا يا رفيق الدرب هيا هيا نسلك النهج السوي في سبيل الله نمضي نقتفي فيه النبي نبعث الحب أريجا فائح العطر شديا نملأ الآفاق نورا وبهاء سرمديا وإخاء صادقا عذبا نقيا أريحيا يا رفيق الدرب هيا خذ يميني يا بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد In the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Indeed our praise and gratitude be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala As such we ask Allah azawajal to say his peace and blessing upon the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam upon his entire family, his noble companion and those who follow in his footsteps to the day of judgment on Baba. Brothers and sisters, I'd like to welcome you to the Plant Truth TV. I'm your host Abu Muhammad Ali Al-Ansari. I'd like to welcome you with Islamic greeting. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Tonight we have a special topic which is a reverse story to Islam. We are our brother, Brother Tariq. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How you doing? Alhamdulillah, man. Alhamdulillah. How's the family? Everything's alhamdulillah. Everybody's good. Everybody's good. Everybody's good. So tonight we're going to discuss your reverse story of on how you became Muslim, basically. So we'll start off with your childhood. You know, tell let us let us about your childhood, how you grew up. You know, uh, what kind of surrender you grew up. Uh, in. I grew up in uh, Mississippi. Mississippi. Yeah, you know, it's uh, Mississippi. Yeah. I had a like a single mother okay. childhood. Okay. Um, Seven, uh, seven siblings. So I'm a lot. He had a big yeah, family. Yeah, big family. Big family. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's seven kids. You seven know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm one of the seven. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but uh, yeah, we just you know lived in Mississippi, very rural country town in Mississippi. Oh yeah. Yeah. Very very small small town. Okay. Yeah. Not a lot of population. Very small population. We was in like if you said, like the African brothers, we was in the bush. <laughs> Mashallah. <laughs> Mashallah. <laughs> Yeah. So the childhood was, you know, fairly, you know, easy going. Right, right, difficult. right. Yeah, nothing difficult. Okay. Just you know, Mashallah. being kids. You so know. you grew up basically around nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out in the woods, you okay. know, what I'm saying shooting Hunting. bow and arrows. Mashallah. You know what I'm saying? Going. That's beautiful. Though, yeah, man. yeah. That's it. So, so what was your previous belief system before Islam? Uh, Christian, Christian, Christian. Christian. Okay. What what kind of Christian though? Like uh, what type of belief? Uh, um. We had a lot of uh, different. Uh, I've been to like my family was a lot of different kind of Christians. Oh, you know? explain for you. Explain on that. <laughs> but, you, but, but, you know, we grew up and like uh, if I went to the church with my aunt, yeah, they might be Methodists. Okay. Uh, if I went to the church with another aunt, yeah. they're gonna be holiness. Okay. Uh, if I go to the church with another family member, they might be Baptist. Wow. So, so all of them belief is different. Uh. Somewhat, somewhat, somewhat different, somewhat different. I mean, but they all, from my understanding, they all got the same basic premise. Okay, you what know? is that? Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Is you know, God? yeah, uh, yeah. Jesus Christ is God. Basically, whatever prayers that you give, you mm -hmm. know that you know they got to go through Jesus wow. in the name of Jesus before you know. Uh, the Father. Yeah, before you can get them answered. If you do it the other way without that, yeah. You didn't get no play. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, so before you believe, you you previously believed Jesus was God. Right. Right. Okay. Right. 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 Okay. So, um, how did you hear about Islam? What was your first encounter with you know Islam or Muslims? Um, my very first encounter with Islam mm -hmm. had to be my very first encounter with Islam, mm -hmm. like everybody else, Malcolm X. Malcolm X. Yeah, Malcolm X. MashaAllah. Yeah, 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 so, Malcolm X. So how did it go? I mean, um, well, I, I read the book. You know what I'm saying? I read the book and I was a very, I, I loved the book. Mashallah. You know what I'm saying? I, I thought it was like, you know, just, you need, I, I feel like I could kind of relate to a story, okay. even though I wasn't converted to a Muslim, but it was just kind of like, you know. You struggle. He, yeah, you've been through, a, he's went through a, a whole bunch of things and then he, you know what I'm saying, uh, found something, you know what I'm Mashallah. saying, that made him, you know, want to go forward, you know. Okay. So uh, at that point, which, what did you know about Islam from reading, you know? I mean, well, even with the Malcolm X book, I didn't really learn a whole lot about Islam, but I just knew that the nation of Islam mm -hmm. and Islam was something different. different. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. I mean, that's kind of what I got from the gist of that. So, how did you become Muslim? You know, what is 
you know, um, what led you to become Muslim? It, it was a, a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? Like, got, like uh, even as I grew up and I became an adult, mm -hmm. you know, moving from Mississippi, coming to Georgia, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I had an opportunity to do some business with some uh, brothers that were Muslim. Okay. And I uh, worked with them over like some years, a course of some years. Mm -hmm. And I would see like, they'd be praying. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what is this? Right. <laughs> you know, being a brother. It strange to yeah, it was strange. You know, strange. <laughs> yeah. You know, certain time of the day. Yeah. The brother, yeah, brother, go. Why? <laughs> no, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, he he's making woo do. You know, yeah. but at the time I didn't know. You know, yeah. what I'm saying, but I'm watching the brothers do this, and then they'll go pray. Yeah. You know, mix a lot or whatever. And I, you know, sometimes I be like, well, let me let me come and uh, mix a lot with you. You know, and they be like, okay, but you gotta make woo do first. You know what, uh, what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so it was, that's not teaching you little. Yeah, bit. yeah, a little bit at a time, but they never really like you know. Uh, give me dawah. They never really gave me dawah, you know what okay. I'm saying? Like, but I just was getting dawah from watching them. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like I, yeah, practice. Practice. I, just, I seen them. You know, they fast for Ramadan. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, well, let me fast a little try bit. You know, yeah, try it out and just see. You know. Okay. Yeah. So from there, well, what led you to? Become? Well, time passed. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? A lot of different changes happened in my life. I was no longer around those brothers, um, but you know, just kept you know doing business or whatever. And the more business I did. You know, people, the majority of people, you go to New York, so many Muslims in New York. Mashallah. You know what I'm saying? You go to different places, you see all these Muslims. But really, mm -hmm. you know, after all of that stuff, I still didn't become Muslim. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I guess like uh, the internet, YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, I just started watching some different things on YouTube and. Uh, uh, who's your favorite Mufti, man? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mufti the Mick, really. Mufti you know, the you know what I'm saying? Mufti the Mick, you know. But uh, now I just watch some different things, and the more I found, like, because I really did, even though I seen all of these things and yeah. I like Islam, yeah. you know, Christianity was really somewhere still in my you, heart. You because I was, yeah, because it was what I grew up on, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I really didn't know no better. And like I said, the brothers wasn't really giving me, like, yo, here go to Quran and yeah. nothing like that, you know. Yeah. But, uh, so you had to do your own research. Yeah, I had to do my own research. And uh, the, the, the internet really was more, you know, beneficial to me as far as finding out things mm -hmm. and uh, the fact that, you know, like, uh, they like I never knew that Muslims believed in Jesus. Wow, you know, so that was, that was a really big. It was a really big shock to my system. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah really, when I found that out, you know, I was watching these uh, videos, a series of videos, mm -hmm. and uh, but they were just giving this information. It was like kind of almost indirect dawah. The video was like a video of indirect dawah. Allah is the best uh, of uh, Alhamdulillah. Mashallah. And uh, but it just gave me so many details. You know what I'm saying about you know, what Muslims believe in Jesus. And I saw that, you know, what they believe, you know what I'm saying? It's not really like they're, you know, putting Jesus down or anything, but they really just clarifying things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, really getting rid of a lot of extra stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, because it's like, when yeah. you think about it at the end of the day, yeah. uh, if somebody tell you, okay, there's a God, Mm -hmm. Everybody, we all know there's a God. Yeah. But you can't talk directly to God. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Why not? Like, what? <laughs> He's God, you know? Yeah. But, uh, you know, but it went, well, they clarified that, yeah. you know what I'm saying, for me. And I was like, oh, that, that makes sense. Right. Yeah. Why not, you know what I'm saying, that Jesus is still important. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Jesus is still the Messiah. Yeah. You know, so to me, it wasn't like I was changing anything. It was just yeah. like I was getting a better understanding. You clarity, know what I'm saying? Clarity. Yeah, just clarity. I mean, for me, Islam cleared a lot of things up. So basically, after the Islam clarified the misconception that led you to it, it, I just went to the masjid, yeah. and I just went in and I just said, hey, I wanted to take my shahat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was pretty straightforward, but I was old. Mashallah, that's good. Um, you know, there's sometimes when people revert to Islam, they say when they revert to Islam, they have this uh, tremendous peace they feel mm -hmm. within. Did you experience anything like that? Um, I, you know what, I, I felt when I heard the Quran recited in Arabic, mm -hmm. even though I never knew what it meant, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It was like the most beautiful thing I ever heard in my life. Mashallah. I mean, wallahi, I, I, when I heard it, mm -hmm. it was like somebody just opened a door, you know what I'm saying, in my heart, and it was like. I was like, wow, this has got to be it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I felt like this is this has got to be, I don't know what he's saying, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But it sounds so beautiful and so peaceful yeah. that it was like, you know, I just I just knew, you know what I'm saying, that this was it. And then, you know, that definitely a tremendous uh, feeling of peace. I mean, because it was like, you had something, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like Islam, for me, mm -hmm. Islam was like, I don't know, it was like 
because I'd always wanted to, you know what I'm saying, be a religious person or, you know, I liked religion, but it was just so confusing. <laughs> yeah. Christianity it really had, had me going through so many loops because I witnessed so many different things that I was like, man, I can't be no Christian. Yeah. But I was just kind of still a Christian, but just not really a Christian, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But it, that's the only thing I knew, you know? Yeah, so, inshallah. So after you rode to Islam, did you face any challenges, trials, you know, anything that you yeah, went through? Yeah, definitely. definitely yeah, definitely, <laughs> that's definitely. a must. Yeah, yeah, I mean, anybody. <laughs> if somebody said <laughs> yeah. they didn't go through no trials, alhamdulillah, I mean, that's that's great. But so what kind I, of trial you went through? Uh, family, family, <laughs> uh, friends. Oh, yeah. uh, like you know, I mean, instantly, you know, your life is something different. Upside down. Yeah, I mean, it's upside down. I mean, because even. Even if you, you know, were a, a Christian Christian, mm -hmm. it's still things that you do, yeah. you know what I'm saying, that's haram in Islam, okay. you know what I'm saying, I mean, you know, drinking and stuff, it's not really something that people would be like, oh, well, you know, uh, in Christianity, it's not that big of a deal, you yeah. know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and then, you know, of course, socializing, you know what I'm saying, going these places, going those places, I mm -hmm. mean, you know, for so that was tough for you. Yeah, I mean, it's tough because you know you you get used to doing that. Yeah. All of the people that you hang around do that. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's like for you to go back and forth and just be like, just tell everybody, well, I'm not coming. Wow. Or I can't come. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That was a shocking. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, what's up with this guy? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a stranger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a stranger, man. <laughs> Mashallah. Yeah. So, uh, what about your family? How did they react? Uh, my my university? family, my family. You know, they kind of took it. Uh, wrong way. Yeah, well, like my my close family, as far as like my mom and all of that. You know, my mom, she was supportive. You know, she didn't really give me any kind of you know static or anything about it. Yeah. You know, and uh, my siblings, you know, yeah. they didn't really trip on it. But like my aunties, you know, they all like super religious people. Oh, okay. So they, you know, they go to church or whatever. Yeah. And uh, they felt like you betrayed Jesus. Yeah, they just like you know they. <laughs> You know, alhamdulillah, but over time, you know, yeah. when I got a chance to talk to him about it and yeah. just kind of yeah, yeah, clear some things up, you okay. know what I'm saying, you know, alhamdulillah. What about the friends? Uh, I don't have a lot of uh, friends that <laughs> from... So much yeah, like, that was easy. Yeah, buddy. yeah, that was easy, you <laughs> know what I'm saying, so... So, how much uh, Islam an impact on your life? You know, uh, a, a, a tremendous impact, a tremendous impact. I mean, it's still... The impact is constantly growing. You know, the more you learn, the more, you know what I'm saying, you get involved and you know, each and every Ramadan, you know what I'm saying? Imam booster. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, we get more Imam boosters around here. Yeah, So what kind of improvement did Islam have in your life? it Islam helped me a lot. It helped me a lot with like, just, you know, purifying myself. Purifying. You know, just, keeping myself away from the haram things, you know, uh, things that even, you know, is that's, that are not good for you inside Islam or outside of Islam. I mean, even if you wasn't Muslim, alcohol still is not good for you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you wasn't Muslim, you know, doing, you know, uh, having extra marital relationship is still not good for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I mean, so it just, it just really helped me keep you clean, keep me clean and, and falsify. You. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just kind of, give you something to back up, you know, as far as why, I mean, just, Islam is just beneficial, you know, period, it's beneficial. Um, Has anything changed in your life after your reversion? Um, yeah, look, every, everything has changed, everything has changed. I mean, um, I mean, I, I could say that I'm a person, you know, different, a different person mm -hmm. than I, completely different person than I was before Islam. MashaAllah, that's beautiful. What kind of advice can you give to seek out truth? People who, you know, searching for truth. What kind of advice can you give them? Um, um, the, the best I could advice, the advice I could give to anybody that's, that's seeking the truth mm -hmm. is to continue to seek the truth. Mm -hmm. You know, Allah, Allah is, is a God mm -hmm. and whoever he guides, you know, no one can miss God. Mm -hmm. And just, you know, don't, don't be afraid to ask questions, mm -hmm. you know, whether it be, you know, uh, if you're a, a Christian, you know, don't be afraid to ask somebody in Christianity, somebody like a preacher or somebody, mm -hmm. for an answer to a question yeah. that you that you have a question about. Yeah. You know, and don't accept, you know, don't accept. Uh, don't accept uh, 
people not answering a question. You know what I'm saying? Don't just let anybody put you off. You know, find out the truth. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Whether it offends somebody or not. You know what I'm saying? And also, uh, if you if you're curious about Islam, mm -hmm. you know, then ask somebody a Muslim. You know what I'm saying? Don't yeah. be afraid to ask a Muslim and don't believe every single thing that you read on YouTube yeah. or or on the internet because there are some websites and stuff that. You know, they, like they, a Muslim yeah, they, yeah, they say they seem like they're a Muslim website, yeah. but they're really there to mislead people. Mm. You know, and they give they're giving false information yeah. or directing you, you know, what I'm saying in the wrong direction. Yeah. And even even some sites that are deviant. Wow. You know, so just I just say you know, be mindful. But the best way to do it, I think, if someone's seeking truth mm. or information about Islam, is to find a Muslim. Mm. You know, what I'm saying, or go to a masjid. Mm. You know, and you know, ask questions there. You know, and that, that really could put you on the right path. Mm -hmm. What kind of advice can you give to people who were following the similar path that you took? Um, similar path. Similar path that I that I took. Yeah. That I took yeah, into from, becoming a Muslim. Yeah, or, from Christianity. You know, looking to look. You know, being engaged with Muslims, being interested. You know, mm -hmm, known by mm -hmm. Islam, seeing the practice. You right. like it. So. What step, you know, sometimes, because um, some people, they like everything, but they need a little extra step, you know. To uh, take. Okay, uh, the advice I would give them is, you know, mm. you're not promised tomorrow. Okay. You know, the advice I would give you is, you know, I would let you know mm. from my perspective, what I've seen myself, this is the truth. Okay. You know what I'm saying? This is, as Islam mm. is the religion that, that clears everything up for me. Sure. You know, the questions that you have about you know what happens after you die what's your pur what's the purpose of life all of this stuff is answered inside of islam sure. you know and and if, if you're curious about it and you you know you're around people that are muslim you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. get engaged engage those people you know ask them questions even if they're not giving you dawah you know what i'm saying yes seek right. seek knowledge yeah okay mm -hmm. what kind of advice can you give those who were thinking about reverting to islam they, they see islam is the truth they're thinking about it, but they need some kind of advice, some kind of boost to basically say. Because sometimes people just, you know, you explain to them Islam, they agree to everything 100%. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, in the back of their head, they're like, they're wondering, all oh, I show me a sign. Make it rain or something. Right. <laughs> you know? Right. Uh, the advice that I would give any yeah. anyone that is, you know, on the edge, they want to they wanna jump, but they ain't got the push yet. Yeah. Uh, first of all, jump. <laughs> you know that that's what I would say jump because yeah. the water was cool Mashallah. and and uh second of all uh you know that ask Allah for guidance you know what I'm saying because Allah Allah is there to guide you no. you know and 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 he you you may not receive the rain come down yeah you might though you know what I'm saying you never know you know what I'm saying Allah do Allah can do anything you know yeah. what I'm saying but you know it may not be something that you know drastic yeah. But you know, just ask for guidance, you know what I'm saying? And then look, because a lot of times we overlook signs, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And we, we can be, he could be giving us signs constantly and we just constantly overlooking them. So just, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, prepare yourself, you know what I'm saying? So. That's beautiful. I remember one of the sheikhs said this, um, there was a guy he was spoken to, he was talking to, and the guy is convinced of the fundamental basics of Islam, the pillars and the belief system, he was convinced. But he asked him, why, why don't you become Muslim? The guy couldn't really answer, but in the back of his mind, he's wondering like, okay, I see it's true, but I want to see a sign, a clear sign, maybe on the cloud or something. Uh, he got something, you know, something writing on the cloud. So the Sheikh told him something briefly. He said, imagine how many people in the world, billions of people, seven point billions of people all over the world. Out of those people, Allah choose you and give you guidance. If that's not enough a sign that I don't know what it is, you know? After that, when the guy thought about that, he became Muslim, you know, because yeah. that's that's a special gift that I like giving, you know. So, but what kind of advice can you give to general masses of Muslim, you know, um, as a reverse, you know? Uh, the general masses of Muslims, mm -hmm. if I could give the general masses of Muslims mm -hmm. some advice, it would be, you know, um, be serious about the thing. You know, that's for myself first. Mm -hmm. You know, be serious about the thing because uh, we can, you know, be Muslims. You know what I'm saying, and just just be Muslims. You know what I'm saying, or we could be active Muslims. You okay. know what I'm saying. There's still people that you know need to be fed. That we could still do that. You know what I'm saying. It's still dawah. We could still do that. 
Mm -hmm. You know, we can still go out and get, get you know, give dawa. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And even if that ain't your thing, do something. You know what I'm saying? Just be active Muslims. Mm -hmm. You know, not just, you know, uh, every time you see something on the news, mashallah, mashallah, they making us look bad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do but something they, about it. Yeah, yeah, do something about it. You know, be, be active. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta, you have a mass uh, media mm -hmm. that's making the Muslims look a certain way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you have a mass population of Muslims mm -hmm. that need to be active. Mm -hmm. Showing that view. Exactly, you change that view. You know what I'm saying? Show them what Islam is. You know what I'm saying? If I could give Muslims advice, you know what I'm saying? Not that I'm the one to give you know, the massive Muslim advice, because I'm not, but I could just say for myself, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, I feel like, you know, that's the path that I need to be on mm -hmm. as a Muslim man. So. May Allah make it easy for you. For that I mean, I mean. So what kind of advice can you give to those Muslims who are born Muslim? Um, Alhamdulillah, you know, Alhamdulillah, <laughs> you know, Alhamdulillah, you, you know, Allah chose you, you know what I'm saying, I chose you to be born a Muslim, yeah. you know, you don't have to go to the church, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> and, 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 and get disappointed, you know what I'm saying, you don't have to, you know, go all these places, yeah. you put it in your lap, it's like a big cake, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> and all you gotta do is eat it, you yeah. know, so, you know, for those, for the Muslims that, you know, were born Muslim, you know, alhamdulillah, man, you, you, you among the, the blessed, you know, Allah chose you to be a Muslim, to be born a Muslim, where other people have to seek it, yeah. you know what I'm saying, and you, you know, have, you, have, you have an advantage because a lot of times, you know, if you're born Muslim, yeah. you have the opportunity to learn the Quran yeah. at a young age, to learn how to read the Quran at a young age. Look at me, I'm 30 some years old, you know what I'm saying? Just starting to try. You know, so like, you, yeah, I mean alhamdulillah, you know, a lot a lot makes it easy for everybody, but I was just saying, you know, like, yeah. you know, that's an advantage though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you get to be your family is Muslim, so you don't have to worry about the Christmas party that you gotta miss this year, your mama yeah. being mad and all of that. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to go through that, you know what I'm saying? MashaAllah, so many things that you you know what I'm saying, you just blessing, it's just a blessing, you know what I'm saying? So alhamdulillah, I mean it's just uh, it's it's a blessing to be born a Muslim. It's a blessing to be a Muslim. Period. Yeah. You know because Allah chose us all, but it, you know He gave certain people advantages and certain things. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Whatever it may be. You know what I'm saying? So, but you know I think that that's a, a big blessing. You know what yeah, I'm saying? That's, so just that's be conscious. Of, yeah. But one thing though, I can say, you know, people who refer to Islam, especially who believe previously believe in Jesus. Believe the prophets of Allah, the Sunnah. The prophet said they will get double rewards. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. for that. Alhamdulillah. You know? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So, brother and sister, we will conclude with our topic tonight, the reverse story of a brother Tariq. You know what? Um, thank you for watching our show, the Islam on the Plain Truth TV. I'm your host, Abu Muhammad Ali Al Ansari. Whatever you heard is indeed from the from the grace of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Whatever message you heard is indeed from me. May Allah forgive us. In our mercy on us, we will conclude here. Subhanallah, bihamdi, ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta, wa astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa